I'm ready to go. Cool. Um, so you'll just look at this camera the whole time? That one? Yeah. Don't turn this up. <laughs> Break the third Stylistically, it could be a lot. Break, <laughs> Break the fourth wall. <laughs> I love that you know the terminology. Let's go. Is it, It's fourth wall or third wall? Fourth. Fourth, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, what was kind of the feeling of the like city of like Chase during playoffs? Yeah, it felt different, right? There's like a buzz. It's packed out. Um, what did that feel like during the postseason? Um, yeah, I mean, the energy was, was definitely something that I hadn't seen here before. It was awesome. It just seemed like it just kept growing and growing, um, you know, the further we went, which, you know, is what you hope for. You know, you do something that hasn't been done here and, um, 20 years you, you want to celebrate that you don't want to just ignore that and and put those things to the side because um they don't happen very often like i said so it, it's it's something that you want to enjoy you want to you want to savor but at the same time for me it's like it's more of a reminder of what we didn't do um and you're not truly successful um if you don't win the last game of the year Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Um, but something that I think about consistently is how achievable it felt in that moment. I just want, I want the state of Arizona to be proud of this organization, proud of the players, proud of the staff, um, that we're going to try to do our absolute best day by day to make something special happen here. Yeah, the city, you know, came out and showed out and, you know, I'm so grateful for them and, you know, to show their support for us during that run that we had was was special and that that was something that we all took with pride was that we felt like we were not just doing this for ourselves or for the organization but we were doing this like with the city behind us and I think sometimes that we're so caught up in, in what we're doing and just playing the game itself I think we forget about what sports can mean to certain people um, and especially when you're a part of this organization uh, being in that spot that I think no one thought that we were going to be in in that moment just looking up and and seeing that much support and how much that meant to them uh, definitely, you know, definitely hit me hard. We, we showed to everyone like, like we didn't give up, you know, like. championship and we now know what that tastes like we know what that feels like and we know what it's going to take and we know the level of commitment and sacrifice that it's going to take for us to climb that mountain and once we get to that mountain we want to stay there but it's not going to be an easy task um, but once again i am so proud of what, what happened in 2023 it was a magical year and something that we all expect to build on i think we all felt pretty good about um what, what was about to take place. Uh, there was a certain energy about 
the end of the 22 season that was giving us a lot of hope. And, you know, I come into this, this camp very inspired every year. I have to, but that's my, that's my MO. Um, I, I believe something magical will happen every single year. And, um, you know, I, I aim for the stars. I've been hearing about these, these young guys coming up from Mike and Amil the last three or four years, actually. And, and, uh, and to see it start to come, town come together with guys like Corbin, and Jake McCarthy, um, it was exciting. Yeah, um, it was a pretty, I don't want to say similar situation to right now, but I think we ended the 2022 season on a pretty proud, positive note, obviously. We uh, didn't make the playoffs, but um, I think we, we won more games than the first half of the year. So uh, obviously we knew we had a pretty young team and we had some uh, veteran signings in the offseason. So uh, I think we were... You know, we had high hopes. D-backs fans excited by what they've seen. It's an athletic team. They have said, this is who we are. This is how we're going to play. Here they are, your 2023 Arizona Diamondbacks. David Smith in St. Louis has hit a grand slam. Long way to go for Jake Bauer Brown, and he's got it. And he's up over the wall. How about wow. that? Line drive down the left field line. That's a hit. Diamondbacks walk it off. Line drive. Base hit. And that's going to win it. And the Diamondbacks walk it off. I think we have a good one of them. We must be in the Dodgers. Islanders. Beating a lot of good teams, too. It was a tough schedule, too. I think it was going better than you can really expect. Corbin Carroll has hit another one. But Thomas on the run and look on the ball. Oh, what a catch out of Thomas. Oh, wow. And that is really embodied by their leadoff guy, their rookie, Corbin Carroll. Yeah, I mean, winning, winning baseball is fun baseball. And, you know, the success that we had early on, um, I thought, you know, everything off the field was, was what it looked like on the field. You know, a great clubhouse, a great group of guys, um, just a lot of fun to be a part of. We were one of the first teams to 50 wins. And if we'd have played at that pace, we'd have won 100 games. So everybody, and then we the wheel still. We just so we couldn't win a game. Those days are long. When you lose in a losing streak, those days are long. And sometimes you hate to come to the ballpark. I think Tory did his best managerial job during that time, um, not getting too low, just continue to grind, relax, and not not feel like that the world was just caving in on him. The goal was was getting into the playoffs. Uh, that's the the hardest thing to do is get into the playoffs. And, uh, you know, we, we got in there by one game. And it is the final tour of the Velo. You're in. First time since 2017. And you can see they found out in the dugout now. Jeff Bannister, they are headed to the postseason in 2023. Yeah, it was a weird day, right? you not used to celebrating after you just lost. Um, weird day for everybody. Probably a weird day for the Astros. That game pushed them over the edge. Um, and obviously with the Reds losing that day, we were able to clinch. So it was strange celebrating after we just lost. But I think at that moment it was just um, the joy of making it to the playoffs and then and what was about to happen, I think, kind of squashed the, the, the sadness of losing that game as, as strange as it was.
I was, I was thrilled. Uh, you know how it lined up. I was, I was named the game one starter, and and you know I, I just had to bear down uh, for the team and and fill that spot and and get ready to go in that in that first game of the playoffs. Brandon had obviously had gaudy numbers up in Reno. Um, a lot was expected of him, uh, and uh, but I always liked his. The biggest thing about Brandon is very calm demeanor. He was always very confident about himself, despite maybe struggling early in his career. Yeah, it was a, like a little bit rocky for him in the regular season, but it continued to ascend in the right direction, and you knew that things were going to click. And he was just kind of he was just going to be who he is. Welcome inside American Family Field. It is in a wild card series. Game one, the Diamondbacks and the Brewers. After a year absence from the playoffs, the Brewers are back in and they are pumped up in Milwaukee. The rally towels are out. Roof is open. It is a gorgeous night for baseball. The Diamondbacks and the Brewers. It's game one of this National League wild card series. Atmosphere was nuts. I've never experienced anything like it, obviously. Pitch inside, and Yelich will take his base. That one slaps softly the other way, and it'll fall for a hit. And hit on the ground, and through the right side, base hit. Contreras stops at second, one nothing Milwaukee. That's drilled, left field. That's way back on his way, and Lead. Game one was not going to be an easy task. We talked about, you know, staying with the process and getting after Corbin Burns and getting him out of the game. Right here in front of us. 1-2 is in there. Longoria didn't like it. Burns gets the strikeout. That's his third three in a row. Corbin Burns, he was, he was nasty. And now it's Geraldo Perdomo who shortens the bunt Ooh. and takes a strike. Tori told me, like, hey, Domo, remember, if you get on base, something can happen. So I put that in my mind, and I went there just to have fun. It was emotional for Mike Hazen and Tori Lavello. A line drive and a base hit into right field by Perdomo. And with one out, a man aboard. And he did so in a couple of ways. That's trailed right field. Well struck. That one's on its way and gone. Corbin Carroll with a two-run homer, and the Diamondbacks are within one. That was a blast. We were down a couple runs and kind of got us right back in it, and you know, it didn't take long after that for Marty to really uh, equalize that thing. This one drilled right field. That's back. That's got a chance. That's gone. Marte goes deep. Back-to-back -back homers for the Diamondbacks, and just like that, it's 3-3. I didn't even have time to, I was taking my stuff off and Marty hit the home run the first pitch. I was like, man, like, it was uh, nice to quiet that place a little bit. I was up on the same pitch, and in that round, I was up on the same pitch, and I was up on the same pitch, and I was up on the same pitch, and I was up on the same pitch. ready. Swing, a high fly ball, well struck out towards left center field. That one on its way, and gone! Over the bullpen, Moran! A solo homer, and the Diamondbacks have the lead. It's 4-3. The D-backs are just on the assault here. That team threw their ace at us, who is a Cy Young winner. He's one of the best pitchers in the game. He thrives to be on that stage. And we went out there and we executed our plan perfectly. Perfectly. 4-3, Arizona with the lead, so they've come all the way back from a 3-0 deficit, and they're on top. Se sintió muy bien, se sintió muy bien, de verdad, este, eh, fue un picheo, de verdad, este, oye, que andaba buscando, estaba bu buscando un picheo en la zona, un picheo que se quedara ahí para, para hacer el, conectar ese batazo y... Oye, este, de conectar ese honrón en, en ese inning que estamos empatados, bueno, estamos hacer carrera, fue este, significó mucho para nosotros. Este, ahí donde se definió el juego y estoy contento por eso. New pitcher into the game is one of the Diamondbacks regular season starters, Ryan Nelson. Yeah, for me personally, that was 
very big because I started that inning and let those three base runners get on. On the ground, right side, and it's under the glove of Marte and into right field. Swing and a line drive, base hit right field. Swing and a line drive, base hit center field. And Donaldson with his second hit of the night, and they're loaded. Another pitching change, Ryan Thompson coming in. So Troy Lovello going to the bullpen again. When I got the ball, it was simple. Like, keep the lead, give the ball to Kinko. And I've been there before, you know, and I was ready for the for the job. Trying to protect a 4-3 advantage. Bases loaded, one out, and tops it into a huge spot. Taylor, and he takes a strike. He gets a chance to hit with the bases loaded again. He's hit a two-run homer, and then his next time up wrapped into a fielder's choice. When you come over here to Arizona, and you see these guys that are just so starving to just get a chance, just to get in and just to see what we're capable of. Guys that just want the big stage, just to want the opportunity to show it what we're made of. And that was just a fire that lit something under me that helped me just be like, I want to help give these guys that feeling. Free link at third and Thomas at second, Donaldson at first, one out. Diamond backs up and the pitch downstairs. And now there's no place to put Tyrone Taylor. Three balls, two strikes, and they rise to their feet in American Family Field. They've got the yellow rally towels out. You know, the worst thing you can do in that situation is walk him. And so my goal here is throw my best pitch over the plate and make this guy do damage against me. Yeah.